Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Real Hazardous. Today we're going to do some pretty cool tests. We're going to throw cameras into bait pods. Specifically, we're mainly targeting Menhaden, also known as pogies, along the beach. So we're going to see what this looks like, what our cast net looks like, and how the baits react. So stay tuned. Got a camera in the uh, cast net. It kind of taped or zip tied it to the horn. I'm gonna see if we can see what it looks like when we throw it and try to catch bait. So we're trying to find some bait this morning. Mark some pretty good stuff. Hopefully we can uh, get some cool footage. <laughs> At least maybe I can throw it halfway decent with the camera in there, and uh, you guys can see what it looks like when the camera or when a net's going down to catch bait. Our first throw, don't catch anything, but it's neat to see how the cast net looks, how it kind of starts, kind of flares out and slowly collapses in on itself. On this particular day, it was really tough getting, catching bait. A lot of boats around. I don't know if it caused them to be scattered or just the general conditions made the pogies scattered, but it was a lot of throwing and uh, not a big, thick ball of bait. One thing to note is we are not off the Florida Keys. It is not the pretty blue water. This is the typical green and even brownish water that you see in North Florida and uh, other parts um, of the country along the beach. So can't see as much as I would have liked. I'd love to see more of bait around, but this is just kind of how it is. So this is what we're looking at. The next day out though, the bait was super thick. I mean, this pogey pod was huge. All the baits were at the top. That's how you find them a lot of times. They flip at the top, kind of jump out of the water, create ripples, you see them flip, you hear them. And as you can see, there are ripples all over. This is a huge school of bait. How was that? That's a kidney or banana, that's not a taco. The reverse. Huge of them. So I took my inline trolling camera, my go fish cam, put it on a line, and I tossed it out. Looking at this footage, it was crazy how thick the bait was. I mean, this was just a massive school and they were packed in tight. I don't know if there were predator fish around that had them that tight or just whatever conditions led them to being really densely schooled up. But as you can see, these baits are thick. And on this day, we didn't make a very good cast, but still we caught plenty of baits just because they were so thick. Marking some. Better. Better. Okay. Go reverse. You got a few.
When I was offshore one time, I did drop a go fish cam down and I could actually see a bunch of bait fish offshore. About 10 miles out and the water is much clearer, bluer today. So uh, definitely easier to see. For whatever reason, these bait fish weren't near as thickly balled up. Maybe there weren't predators around or whatever the case, they were much more scattered. But in either case, it's all neat to see how bait fish swims on different days and different times. These baits were not pogies. These were probably like cigar minnows or Spanish sardines um, that we would jig up offshore. On this third trip out, again, the bait's really thick. You can see they're popping all over. Uh, very thick amount of bait. Don't need a good cast to catch bait when it's this thick, which I love. But today I'm putting the 360 camera in it. So this should give us a good view, hopefully, of, of what the bait is doing and what we see. And again, it's not very clear water, unfortunately, but the bait's so thick, as you can see, when the bait gets in there, they just swim up like, I mean, it's just crazy, all the fish that swim up. And they actually will float the net. It's a term you might hear. It's where there's so much bait in there that the net can't sink. All the bait fish are keeping it afloat. And that's how thick they were today. And as you can see, they get in there crazy and then swim up. Also, here's some footage of us throwing a cast net out. I want to see how it looked. It's a different angle. We're in clear water. Kind of gives you an idea of what a net does. Nets generally shrink as they sink down. They don't stay spread out, they'll actually close up and eventually they'll just come together completely. You can mitigate this by putting tape around the edges, kind of like a parachute. And this is what we do when we're shrimping and we want our net to stay really wide by the time it hits the bottom. But just as a, for some perspective, this is how the net looks. You can actually see this on other casts where the camera's in the net, you'll see the, the mesh netting kind of closing in on the camera. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you learned some things about bait. It was really neat to see. Uh, I like learning about you know, how fish reacts and putting cameras, trolling them, doing all kinds of crazy stuff with them. If you guys like it, I appreciate it if you share the video, subscribe to us on YouTube, and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, stuff like that. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Real Hazardous. Mm -hmm.